Calimera from Naxos in July. I have never been to Naxos in July before. I said this in my previous video about Naxos. Uh, normally because it's just too crowded, but this year Athens is so hot. I decided very last minute to get out of town and I thought I'd show you guys what it's like here in the month of August. It's a little after 11.30 in the morning and I'm down at the seafront uh, to see how busy the restaurants are. You know, things start a little bit later here because everybody is on vacation. I was up early this morning, as you saw, to take a walk on the beach and there's almost no one there. I got here on Sunday and I noticed that it was much busier on Sunday, you know, when the locals are off. I just stopped and talked to one of the waitresses at Kitron that I know and she said that it's much quieter today. Uh, she thinks it's because most people are out and they've gone to the beach already because it is a little bit cooler and less windy today. So in fact, when I was up this morning, it felt amazing. I will be totally honest with you guys. I thought it was going to be way more jam packed than this. I've been here in August when it's been insanely crowded and I had heard that it was going to be like that from now on here in July and August, but it's not. So maybe if you come early July, it's not so bad because it is July 9th and I've been here since the 7th. Um, it, like I said, the weekend was a little busier just out and about and on the beach, but nothing crazy. I mean, yes, all the beach chairs and things are full during the day, uh, but there's still plenty of empty beach, at least here in town, to go sit if you don't want to get a beach chair. I'm going to go down there today. I'm going to go to one of the other big beaches tomorrow to see what it's like. So, so far, I'm not hating the, the crowded. In case you're coming in the next couple of months, I just want to discuss the crane that is here at the port. So apparently over the winter, part of the seawall here, where the little fishing boats usually dock, the, it fell, it, just, it collapsed. So obviously it wasn't safe. So they put up this barrier and then it took them some time to get the crane here. And then as they were digging, they of course found uh, ancient artifacts in the sea. So then they had to stop and an archaeologist had to come from Athens and then they couldn't get the crane back anyway. So yesterday I was down here and they were lifting this giant piece of concrete. Maybe you can see it over there on the beds out of the water. Today it looks like they're doing some dredging. I'm going to show you a clip from when I arrived and getting on the ferry and how many people are getting on and getting off to give you a sense of how many people are kind of coming. Um, I've seen a lot of people arriving with suitcases and things every day, several times a day, because Perry comes several times a day. This is what the beach looks like. Chairs are pretty full. And this section where it's a little bit more shallow and not so windy is busy. This is pretty normal, I would say, for July. Uh, I can't imagine how busy it'll be in August. So if you don't want to be with the crowds, I suggest you go past all the sun loungers and go way down there. That's where I like to go. That's where I've been sitting. And it's windier over there, so it's cooler. So if you don't have an umbrella, it's a little bit more tolerable. It's just right now when it's windy, you can't really swim because the waves are a little bit deeper. Although today is better than it has been. So I've come down here to have lunch. This place is not new in the sense that the building isn't new, but it changed owners. So it used to be Flizvos. It's still the Flisbo Sports Club and the, I think the hotel, but the restaurant has changed to Sun Kima. So I thought I would come and check it out and see how it is. I really liked the menu. It's a little bit pricier than it used to be, but I think everything is getting a little bit more expensive everywhere. I walked past some sun beds that were 50 euros for the first two rows and in Naxos that's especially on this beach at Agios Prokopios, I expect that, but here in St. George, I don't. So I'm kind of curious like what their charge is, but they're really nice beds here. So, and you get a towel, it looks like. So I ordered a chicken salad and zucchini balls. The zucchini balls haven't come yet, but that's okay. I'm very much looking forward to them. You guys know how much I like them. Here are the zucchini balls, which look more like patties, but that's okay. They look amazing. Can't wait to try them and the salad is good. Those zucchini balls, even though they were flat, were really, really good. And they had like a yogurt sauce that had pistachios on it. So good. Salad was okay. It's about 1.30 now. And the restaurant was actually getting busier as I was finishing because I ate a little bit early by Greek standards. 
they were charging 30 euros for the front row and 20 euros for the other rows of their sunbeds. So it was a little bit less expensive than some of the ones I saw further down the beach. Um, not everyone has their like prices listed, so I can't tell you. Um, it's part of the reason I come late in the day and then I can just sit somewhere without an umbrella for an hour or two. This is how busy it is. The Express Scopoletos is leaving. A Sea Jet is coming in with another Sea Jet coming in behind it. And another ferry, the fast ferry, is just leaving. And that's all within a 30 minute time frame. <laughs> it's about, I think it's 2.30 in the afternoon. And this is not the end. They will continue to come all day. The last two days, I've been going to the beach at like four or five o'clock for about an hour. Today I didn't go because I needed to get some work done. And it's about a little after seven and I thought I'd go down and see how busy it is. It was less windy today. And I, when I've left late, you know, at like six o'clock, it's been getting emptier. So let's see what it's like now. There are a lot less people here now. I do like coming late in the afternoon because it's not as hot. You're not in the direct line of sun, you know, overhead. Um, so I like to come later or come earlier in the morning, like, you know, to be out here by like nine o'clock. Um, just makes it a more pleasant experience. But of course, that's because I don't really like to lay out and bake in the sun. Um, if I do come out here in the heat of the day, I'm getting an umbrella. <laughs> Um, I know that it's hard to believe, but I tan really quickly, and um, if I stay out in the sun all day, I'll be brown and crispy, and then my skin feels uncomfortable and dry. Anyway, too much information, but this is what it looks like at 7 o'clock. What's nice is it doesn't really get dark till after 9 o'clock, so you can come down at 4, 5, even 6 o'clock and still enjoy the sun. So this is the main square technically here in Naxos, even though it's very small. And as you can see, all of the places around here are busy with people and there are lots of people walking by. Um, you know, it's about to be time for people to start eating and I can see people are like deciding where to go. So this place, Siroko, is very popular and it's pretty good. I'm going to walk some of the back streets here see how busy some of the shopping areas are. It looks like most people are eating at this point um, and not really shopping. I think of some of the people that I was behind are going up to the uh, top of Castro to go to that bar up there that I was telling you about in another in the video before. There's a bar up there called Avaton that offers some really amazing views of the whole island and it's a great place to watch the sunset. Portara is pretty busy considering the time of day. It usually gets really busy at sunset time, so I'm surprised there are so many people up there at this hour. People are walking around, enjoying it's getting cooler. And it feels great down here because the breeze is always so nice down here. As you can see, it's very busy down here. Lots of uh, people eating. It's uh, eight o'clock now, so that's pretty normal. The other thing that I wanted to mention that I think is interesting to me at least, Whoopee. is that I'm hearing a lot of Italian, which I don't normally hear. Usually I hear lots of German. I'm not sure if that's because it's the time of year or what, but usually, you know, like I've said, I don't come at this time of year. So usually when I come, it's people that don't have kids. So they're here in September or October. The owner of my hotel said that this place is new and they tried it yesterday and they liked it. I'm intrigued because it says Tex-Mex and that's never been a thing in Nexus. And normally that's not something I would try here, but I might just do it. Obviously the appeal is the sunset view here. 
Okay, so it's a pretty good sized menu. It's mostly Tex-Mex and there are a few like Tex-Mex things that are have a Greek twist. There's some pasta and some burgers and things. Um, and the prices are fairly reasonable. That's what the people at the hotel were saying. So um, it's definitely less than what I paid for lunch today. I went for it and decided to go all out on the Mexican. Got a margarita and tacos. So let's see how this is. Here are my shrimp tacos. They look spectacular. Margarita is okay. I've had worse. I've definitely had better though, but that's because I'm Texan. Those shrimp tacos were really good and I am very particular about shrimp tacos. Um, I did tell them about the margarita um, and they've only been open for three weeks. And so I, I was really impressed because usually a new restaurant anywhere has its quirks. I do recommend making a reservation if you're going to come later or if you have a big party, uh, but it's an excellent spot. I mean, the sunset view is obviously amazing um, and really friendly staff. And then they served me as an after dinner like thing as they do here. It was mastica, but then it had a lemon foam on top that they, they make and it was excellent. So another day, another two ferries in port at the same time. The Blue Star Delos is leaving and the High Speed 4 is just coming in. The hat's on, so that must mean it's time to go to the beach. But today I'm going to go to one of the beaches outside of town, Agios Procopios, one of my favorites here in Naxos. Really long, lovely beach. But I have to get the bus to go there, so I have to walk through town. I just thought I'd show you what it's like. It's like almost three o'clock, I think. Uh, so it's you know, it's the hottest part of the day, unfortunately, but um, it's actually not too bad today compared to the other days. This is bus stop here. The buses line up here. I do suggest that you find out the bus number because there's lots of buses in Naxos. And I, the other thing I want to say is this is not how it's done on every island. Some islands you do buy the ticket on the bus. Just depends on where you are. There was kind of a line to get tickets, but it moved pretty fast. Oh man, you want on the bus already, and Do you want we're just waiting a little bit to leave. Coño. Bus did end up being very crowded because as we went through town and picked up more people, a few people had to stand. Although I've seen it be worse, but down here is chaos. Another bus was behind us, and I've just seen prices for the said beds right here by the bus stop, and it's 35 euros. I'm not paying 35 euros. I'm gonna do one of two things. I'm gonna walk down and see if anything further is better. I doubt there will be. So I'll probably end up walking and just going and sitting on the sand somewhere for a little while. And I had heard that the sunbeds were sort of out of control and it kind of feels that way. They're just everywhere blanketing this part of the beach. Just saw another sign that said it's 30 euros per set and plus a 35 minimum spend. I do want to say that as the season it winds down, like in September and October, the prices drop and some places don't care as long as you're uh, spending money. So don't think that if you're coming in late in like September, this is going to be the price. And I've just seen a sign that says 15. So the further down you go, the better it seems to be. Well, I decided to cave and pay for the semi-expensive chairs of 25 euros. All the 15 euro ones were full as you can imagine so but these are really nice and it means i'll actually stay for longer because uh, if i had to go sit out in the sun with no shade i wouldn't last very long so i will sit here i will swim and probably stay here for a couple of hours because i've got a good amount of shade here and there's food and this is a little bit further down so it's not quite as intensely cramped it's still kind of crazy to me and the whole beach is packed like it i can't believe how busy it is down here so they're not in st george they're here i mean i get it this is a much nicer beach um placa is also nice which is further down um, it's a thinner beach um, but it's a lot longer than this even so who knows what that's like despite the fact that it is a little after six o'clock people are still just coming to the beach as i was leaving people were coming onto the beach so like I said, it's nice to do that here because, you know, it doesn't get dark until almost nine o'clock. So, but I'm gonna go back now so I can shower and go to dinner. As I suspected, going back, the bus would be fuller. And this is the line to get on the bus to go back to town. Uh, 
I mean, it's not going to fill up the entire bus, but some people will come last minute and then they'll pick a few people up, I imagine, along the way. Let's hope I can get on. There's more people behind the restaurant too waiting. Well, the first bus skipped us because it was full. The second bus I had to stand, but that's fine. I've had it drop me here at the cinema, which if you're coming from the beach is across from the supermarket here because my hotel is closer to this end of town. Out for another evening in Maxwell's. I'm going on the hunt for dinner. I'm not 100% sure where I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna go pass by a few places and see what I fancy. Um, it seems pretty normal down here. Not super busy yet, um, considering it's just like 8.20. Not super surprising. Walk through the old town and look at two places that I've been thinking about eating at. But of course, you know, look at a few shops along the way. Always like this home goods one even though I don't really know how I'd get anything home. <laughs> Although, you know, they'd probably ship it to me if I asked them to. I was gonna try another place that, even though I've, it's been open for years, I've never eaten at it, but it looked very full. So I went across the way to the Taxi Mosh, which is a place I come to all the time. Here is my seafood risotto, which smells spectacular. Second seafood meal. <laughs> in a row for dinner, but I'm not gonna complain about that. So it got even busier than when I came. This was the other place I wanted to go to, but uh, as you can see, fully booked. And I love coming to the Taxi Mosque, so I'm never gonna complain about that. So, and I think I've had the same waiter every single time I have ever eaten there. Same guy. All of these people are here to watch this game. This is crazy. All of these people are also here to watch this game. Maybe I should stay and watch this game. I don't even know what it is, to be honest with you. I think it's football. I thought it was basketball, but I think I'm totally wrong about that. <laughs> I don't think this many people would be interested in basketball. Okay, I couldn't resist being out with all these people. Now, of course, not sitting at a bar that's showing the game because A, it's too crowded, and B, I don't understand anything that happens in football. So I'm back at my favorite place having a glass of wine and reading my book. Good morning. I've been coming down to the beach around 7 lately, and then this morning I was able to sleep a little bit longer, so it's about 8.30, and what a difference it makes. All the umbrellas are open. There are more people out. Music is already playing, which is very annoying. I'm going to tell you that now. But it's still nice to be down here with a lot less people, because you saw how crowded the beach was yesterday. I have made it down to the Naxos Ferry Port to wait for my ferry to the next island. A word of caution, one time I was walking here with my suitcase and it was quite heavy and it was quite windy and I wasn't really paying that much attention and the wind almost pushed my suitcase into the water. So if it's really, really windy, hang on to that suitcase because it might just end up in the harbor. I'm down here pretty early for my ferry because I wanted to see how many people are here already. Um, but there are, it looks like there are three ferries, like super ferries, and then on the slow ferry before mine. So that's four ferries in the space of like an hour. Um, but we'll see. <laughs> Here are some of the people getting off this first ferry. Not a huge crowd. It's still a good amount of people. All right, one of the super jet, sea jets is coming. Probably going to Mykonos, I would imagine. It's a smaller uh, sea jet, so I think usually it goes between here and Mykonos and Paros. And the other sea jet is arriving as well now. And people are not necessarily in the correct line, which tends to happen. Uh, it's really important when you're going to the ferry that you don't ask other people their destination and get where they are because sometimes there are multiple boats going to the same place. You need to check your ticket for the name of the boat that you're getting on. Yeah. 
It's finally here. It's about 30 minutes late, which is probably pretty typical at this time of year. And it looks very full, and there's at least two more ferries coming after this in the next hour. So just keep in mind, I like to call boarding a ferry in Greece organized chaos. And now the other Blue Star is here, so we're going to board as they disembark, so this will definitely be some chaos. I hope you guys found this helpful, kind of see what July in Axos is like and what the ferry is like in, in July. On to the next island. See you guys in the next video.